Imagine a scenario where you have experienced a sore throat and runny nose for a few days. So you turn to a medical chatbot. Based on your symptoms, it tells you that there is a 83% chance that you are experiencing an allergic reaction. It sends you your prescription, you take the meds, but the symptoms persist. In a few weeks, you turn to an ENT specialist and they determine that you have chronic sinusitis, which will require a surgical procedure. Who is to be blamed in this scenario? The algorithm that suggested allergies, the doctor for not supervising the chatbot, or you the patient turning to a chatbot in the first place? As we head into the future of healthcare, we have to think about these scenarios, because by tomorrow, they will be all too real. This is Dr. Bertalan Meshko, and this is a future bit from The Medical Futurist. We differentiate five levels of automation in medical procedures, which pretty much sums up the ways of human-AI collaboration in the future. Level 1 – Human only In level 1 of the spectrum, no AI is involved. We don't need to go far to imagine this stage, as most medical procedures are currently done manually. Whether it's a surgeon performing a laparoscopy or a physician examining a patient, right now humans are at the forefront with no assistance from an AI. Level 2 – Shadow Mode In medical schools, students learn the tricks of the trade by following a designated physician around the hospital. They take notes, ask questions, and can perform some physical examinations under the physician's supervision. This is commonly known as shadowing. An AI system can undergo a similar training process with a so-called shadow mode. For example, while a physician makes a diagnosis based on an X-ray, a trainee AI follows the process without interfering with it. The algorithm thereby takes notes, checks the physician's accuracy, and logs everything that can support a future diagnostic decision made by the AI itself. Level 3. An AI assistant At this stage of the automation spectrum, the AI system supports physicians in clinical decision-making with suggestions. For example, the physician checks a set of CT scans and the AI makes recommendations on a few cases where it thinks it can support a decision with evidence. IBM's Watson for Oncology system aims to help cancer patients and for doctors to stay ahead of the rapid succession of discoveries in cancer treatments. It does so by using the patient's medical records to identify potentially successful treatment plans for them. Level 4. Partial Automation With partial automation, an AI system can come up with its own diagnosis, but if it's not confident enough about it, the AI flags cases and scans for physicians to recheck. It frees up a lot of time for physicians, but still makes sure that complex cases will be determined by them. For example, Palo Alto-based Nines developed an AI system that can identify potential cases of intracranial hemorrhage and mass effect from CT scans. It then flags those cases for radiologists to review. Level 5. Full Automation as the name suggests, in this level, full automation processes are performed by an AI alone and do not involve human input. For example, a level 5 system could analyze a mammogram on its own and request for subsequent testing without consulting a physician for this decision. Nevertheless, some researchers believe that reaching level 5 automation in any medical setting is unlikely to be safely achieved in the near term, but it could be feasible in the long term. But no matter how far-fetched a scenario it is right now, this is the one that fuels widespread fear of AI replacing physicians. But if you look at the automation scale and see the examples, what seems a lot more likely is that these algorithms, even though they are the most powerful tools physicians ever had, are just that. Tools. In the hands of talented professionals who will always be needed to know how to use them. As I always say, AI will not replace medical professionals, but those medical professionals that use AI will replace those that don't. If you like this video and you don't want to get killed by an automated surgical robot, please subscribe below and don't forget to tap the notification bell too so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you.